Yo, welcome back. It's time for another episode of Sanabi. We are getting closer and closer to the end. I know there's going to be a massive plot twist whenever I reach the ending. And hopefully the ending I get is good. I don't want to get a bad ending. That's like my first ending. Uh, but yeah, I'm really, really excited. The game is really good. We're still on our way to the top of the city to get to Sanabi. I still don't even know what the heck Sanabi looks like, or what it, what is Sanabi? Is it a robot? Is it a human? Like no one knows. Oh, so they added those big robots? This is cool. Boom. That was easy. Get these dummies out of here. Oh. All right, there we go. That was pretty long. Also, what are we doing? Oh yeah, we're trying to steal a flying car. We're here. This place is the warehouse that stores all the flying cars. Uh, Mari, I'm asking this just in case. You can drive a flying car, right? Hey, are you worried about that joke I made a while back? Oh yeah, she did say that she only knows how to drive a flying car because of video games. Don't worry. Most flying cars come with a self-driving feature. If that fails us, don't worry, I'm a fast learner. I think I'm quite talented at driving, you know. If I get some more practice, okay. So that's a no. She doesn't know how to drive. Huh? Why are the lights off? Look at all those flying cars. They're all destroyed. Man, Sanabi really didn't want anybody to catch him, huh? He got rid of the trains that went up to the to the highest buildings and also destroyed all the flying cars. What? What's this? Why are the cars? Oh, that car over there. Over there, it's fine. Uh-oh. Why'd you break it? Thank- leave. Wh what Oh, it was this bastard. I knew she was gonna be evil. She broke it, not- not me. I thought that dude broke it. I was like, why do you slash it? Leave here now. It's gonna be a 1v1, let's go. What are you? Were you tailing us? Oh. Exclamation up? The heck is she doing? Mister, what's going on inside? Why are the cars that are not supposed to be flying being flown? Crazy son of a... She's activating the broken cars? Why are you doing this? She's not even talking or saying anything. I guess she was just... Um, I'm watching. What the hell does that mean? Mari. Find a way to shut down this warehouse. I'll do what must be done. Man. I gotta break those, I see. Got you, idiot. I gotta break her force field. I got one. She 
He's trying to get me, huh? You trying to think? You think you can get me? Dummy. Boom. Idiot. Oh, she got rid of my platforms. Yeah! That's what you get. Wait, what? Who the hell stabbed it? Another one? What? Wait, is she a clone? There's multiple! She has clones of her bot. That's insane. He's a crazy son of a bitch. Boom. He can't gank me. I'm a ninja god. Boom. I got one of your thingies, idiot. There's another one. Broke your thing, idiot. You really do be trying to kill me. Boom. Whoa, almost got me there. Yeah, ouch, she hit me. Got her. The hell it what is trying to block me look at all these clones is she even in the machine or if she is then the other ones might just be automated and stop them i need to ask you one more time why are you working so hard watching and watching and watching and watching you poor thing. I hope you won't hate me for this. I'm sorry. Wait, no, actually, I won't do it. I guess I have to. I'm sorry, bot lady. No, stop. I I, I don't want to kill this the, the, the girl. I mean, I know she's evil, but... Fine. There we go. I'm gonna get a bad ending. I just know. Just think about it. What if she helped? What if she helped me? Mister? Ah! She got, <laughs> she got jump scared. Gosh, mister, you okay? Yeah. But does it look like I killed her? Did 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 did, did, did you kill, Mister? Did you kill Justice? Kill? Was she even alive? What do you mean? I knew something wasn't right. This suit's camouflage. You need a special permit to operate it. This isn't something you can just buy at the mall. Oh, there she is. One thing became clear after fighting this thing. What the hell? There were so many? <gasps> Wait, is this... Is this why... The people of the city just disappeared? It's because of all these... Giant robot mechs that were just invisible hanging out everywhere. Yo, that's insane. What? What is this? Justice isn't... Do they all have her? Is she inside all of them? This is not human. She's in all of them. Is she an android? Yes, it is. <gasps> She's an... 
Way oh no That means this all right now 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 the story is getting even sussier because before in the other episodes I was saying what if his daughter isn't real and he got his memories manipulated or what if the daughter didn't get killed and she got kidnapped instead but if there's androids that look like humans then the one where his memories got manipulated it makes sense just think about it he what if his daughter wasn't real she was just an android making his memories Making him think that the fake memories are real because she was there physically That's insane That can't be true Justice is a real person. I saw it when I took the selfie justice is not a robot Technology that can so precisely mimic a human is Calm down. I know what you want to say This being is a trained killer not a clunky tin can with motors. Therein lies the problem. This thing, no, these things once used to be human. They're clones. There was one real human and they made copies of her. But that doesn't make any sense. Why not? How many of these things do you think I fought in there? Then... What you're saying is someone defeat... What? Someone datafied Justice's personality? And copied it? They datafied her. I don't see it any other way. That's a felony. That's a felony doesn't cut it. If the royal court finds out about this... I know. I'm not saying that this is acceptable. Who could do such a... Technology, capital, and the power to carry out such a scheme. The Nabi. The owner of this city, Mago Group. Oh. So what if Sanabi is Mago Group? Unbelievable. First, people disappearing and now this. Sanabi appearing in this city couldn't have been a coincidence. Damn. Right, do we still have a car we can ride? They were all dropped from a kilometer fall. They're all scrap metal now. Any other warehouses? Hmm. There's none. Incredible. Guess we gotta go with another plan. Plan C. Plan A and plan B didn't work. Since, since when could this person have been like this? Was the justice I knew a fabrication from the beginning? No, I think she was real. But she got kidnapped. This person stopped us from reaching the top level. As this city has kept doing so. This thing is without a doubt acting on behalf of Mago Group. Mari, was the justice you remember some corporate dog? Never. Then the person you remember must have been genuine. Damn. This thing couldn't even talk properly. Something must have broke while being turned into a puppet. Hmm. And I just feel bad for the OG Justice. They wanted to do the right thing. But they faced a foe far stronger than they could have ever imagined and... This is what became of them. They got turned into data and copied thousands, maybe millions of times to become a puppet of an organization. What now? I'd ask the same thing. Any other plans? Hmm. I do. Okay. Have this one. Oh, this one thing. Well, it's not nothing. Stop beating around the bush. Look up. Up. Don't tell me plan C is just climbing up. I only see skyscrapers. 
No, no, look at the sky. Way up there above the clouds. What is she talking about? Oh my god, this looks beautiful. That's the building. Yo, that thing is huge! Right there is Mago City's Tower of Babel and the tallest skyscraper on Earth. Mago Electronics Central Factory. That thing is ginormous. The future in Sanavi looks so cool, but it's also so terrifying. Uh, why is she sighing? This is a factory? Are they making a spaceship in here? What on earth do they make in here? This place makes all kinds of things. Uh, this building alone makes 30% 30, 30 of all electronics for the entire country. Ah. Uh, why is she sighing? What's with the sighs? Something wrong? I hate this factory! Hate it? You have no idea, do you? Do you know how many rumors about ghosts there are of this factory? Ghost stories? Just ghost stories? Or, or what have you so on edge? What do you mean just ghost stories? Do you know how many suspicious things this factory has? Who knows what kind of horrible things- Oh, uh oh. Keep out, warning. Central nuclear fission plant exceeding safe temperatures. All remaining personnel are recommended to evacuate the facility. Did you hear that, Mari? Now's not the time for nonsense. The city's about to blow. We don't have much time, we have to go. I didn't say I wasn't going. Good, all right then. Tell me what I need to do in this factory. Okay then. I don't need diagrams, just tell me what to do. She's gonna start drawing again. Just the objective of the process, briefly. This factory is separated into several sectors. And the upper sector has a facility that connects to the top level. Reach the top level using that route, that's our objective. The problem is how we get to the upper sector. The best way to do it is to use the high speed elevator. But as we know, the factory is currently in an emergency lockdown state, so we can't take the elevator. So we'll have to undo the lockdown at the central control room. Reactivate the factory and then take the elevator. That will be the process. Seems simple enough. What's up? You could have done this the whole time and you were drawing diagrams for your explanations every time. <laughs> True. Every time she was explaining the other missions, she would pull out a, a fucking a piece of chalk and just start drawing on the walls. I wonder she could have just explained it like this. Why? Anyway, we just need to get to the central control room. They just go past it. That's right. All right, let's move. Let's go. Time to explore the creepy giant factory that goes to heaven. I better not see no demons in here. Ah, she's still sighing. Don't worry too much. No matter what happens, I'll... Oh, no. Another flashback. I'll protect you. His the little daughter dressed as a little robot man. And he's a T-Rex. I'll protect you. Dad, you have to answer me. Huh? Uh, oh... Thank you. Ahem, don't worry my friend, Tyranno. I'm Justice, the Wandering Knight. Oh. She's dressed up as... As Justice, so he did know about Justice. There's not a shred of mercy in Justice Slash. You better get ready. Okay. What's his name, Dad? The name? Blanket stick. <laughs> Bugman? Dad? What about Worm Man? 
Worman? Bleh, that's such a weird name. But I kind of like it. You better watch out, worm man. Take my justice slash. <laughs> oh man, he's such a good father. I really hope that the daughter is actually real and not just a, a android that was put there by Sanabi to to make him get out of commission so that he could do evil plans without uh the main character defeating him a falling leaf also cool though oh a leaf justice is quite a lonely path yeah i hope this is all real daddy daddy did i do a good job wasn't i super cool wasn't i exactly like justice you were very cool Really? Was I really cool? He 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 he. Uh, if only I didn't forget that last line. I thought about it all night yesterday. But darling, does justice really sound that cool? Uh, no, no. I made up this line. Huh? Justice usually doesn't talk. They're cool because they're quiet, Dad. Oh, then why do you make them sound so cool? Because it's no fun if I'm quiet. I don't know as much as you, but I'm just happy that you're happy. Hehe, <laughs> I'm sure you understand when you grow up, Dad. What? Dad, are you gonna be like Justice too? Huh? Are you gonna protect me too? Of course, darling. I'll protect you no matter what happens. Really? Hehe, <laughs> if you protect me, then... Darling, be careful not to fall. Wait! Darling, stop! They- they really did that. They really did that! Man, that is so messed up. How? How do they keep... Steer? They keep jamming it into my- my heart and my head. That she blew up. <laughs> but I want to believe so hard that she wasn't real or that she's still alive. Oh, man. Mister? Why did you suddenly stop talking? Get you to the top level. Eh, does that mean you think of me as a comrade? He's just moving on. Because of the trauma. Hmm. He was going to tell her that he'll protect her no matter what. But because of the flashback, he just couldn't. Because he remembered he couldn't even protect his own daughter. So what the heck is that machine in the background? This is core facility. This is the core facility of the factory. Where all the manufacturing equipment is. The central cluster. It's almost hard to believe what I'm seeing. This spaciousness is surreal. What's that large machine at the middle? That's the overseer. The Overseer? That's a rather unoriginal name. Well, not exactly. That is this factory's only Overseer. Only? You're telling me that one thing manages this entire factory? It's a supercomputer boasting 176 zettaflops of computing power, the Overseer. You can make this incredibly complex horizontal factory run like a well-oiled machine. Hmm. Don't worry about it too much. We just need to bounce real quick. Let's see. The control room is right over here. Should be in front of you. Let's beat it. That thing in the back is going to turn on and it's going to fight me. And I'm going to have to destroy it. Oh my god. This reminds me so much of a uh, Titanfall. Especially these platforms that like flip. Man. Uh, mister, one sec. Was the overseer. Oh no. Was it not? The overseer is turning. Was it? 
Up we go. Mister, was that not a bit? Was it now? I can't remember. Odd. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. That's gonna be the big boss of this area. The supercomputer. So, can you do it? Easy as pie. Don't you doubt me because Mari is perfect. Um, oopsie. She caused an error. I've been thinking on the way here. I'm only here to chase after Sanabi. The city, I don't have much of an interest in that, in what Mago Group is hiding. But if Mago Group is in possession of technology that can datafy human personality, that changes things. Just researching it is a serious crime. But they've even made use of the technology. Now that the fact that Mago Group has ties to Sanabi has become clear. I need to find out what Mago Group is up to. Mari, you said you were tracking Mago Group, weren't you? What do you know about that suspicious business? <gasps> Wait, what if I killed Sanabi? But Mago Group recovered Sanabi's body and used their datafying technology to bring him back to life. Yo, that's gonna, that's gonna be insane. What about you? Don't answer my question with a question. If you're asking this, you must already have an idea, don't you? All the strange things that's happened, all the strange things that happened around the city, at first glance, they may not seem related to each other, but once you start tracking down their intentions, all this is for one purpose. That purpose is just so grand that it's hard to wrap your head around it. It's to completely destroy this city. Why, though? Didn't Mago Group make the city? Why would they want to destroy it? That doesn't make any sense. You know? Like, what's the point of destroying your own city? All data wiped. Cargo thrown away at the landfill. A giant crusher that's eating everything up. In conclusion, even the city's nuclear fission self-destruction as well. The city's committing suicide both physically and digitally. And the one behind all this has to be Mago Group. Did someone discover their secrets or something? Why would they be destroying all evidence? Getting rid of the city to destroy all evidence regarding the human personality datafication technology? That's almost baseless. No matter how grave the crime, that's like burning an entire house down to kill one pest. But I agree that the city is conducting its own self-destruction. It's just hard to figure out why. Yeah, it's way too extreme for what they're trying to do. They could just wipe everything without having to destroy an entire city. Could there be a possibility that Sanabi planned this out? Do you know what I've been sensing while I've been digging through the city's internal networks? Despite the fact that the city is undergoing complete destruction, it's just not there. The cracks that happen when something is breaking down. It's as if every cog is spinning as intended straight to their destruction. This cannot be a coincidence. So she's saying it was this was always supposed to happen? Since the very beginning when they be like built the city? Yeah, look at that. There it is. This has been planned out over a long time with a lot of effort behind it. Sanabi's not oh, Sanabi's not responsible. At least the city suicide could not have been prepared by those outside of Mago Group. And how does Sanabi Emergency Recovery Subroutine installed reinitiating factory? Well, not much will become clear once we find Sanabi, right? Right. All right, no time to waste. Let's go, the elevator's right up ahead. All righty. I knew it was not gonna be this simple. Watch, the giant, the giant supercomputer is gonna break the window. What, why are the lights? Control room, lights on now. Request denied. 
Denied? What now? Turn the lights on. Request denied. Insufficient authority. Yeah, the computer took over. Is there a problem? I... I'm not sure. I should have admin authority. Huh? I still have admin authority. Hey, control room, lights on! Request denied. Insufficient authority. Hmm. Does this factory have an authority higher than admin? One such authority exists. Absolute authority. The overseer. I knew it. I knew it. It's that giant supercomputer blocking her. The overseer? What's going on? I think when we reactivated the factory, the overseer got initialized as well. What happens then? I'm not sure, but right now... Not much has changed except for the fact that the lights are out. Is the elevator still working? Uh, huh? The factory's working as normal, so probably. Then it's fine. We don't have time to waste, so we'll move out. I don't- It's not gonna let us go that easily. And we just ignore it? Okay, I think I'm not gonna get the good ending. I'm gonna have to replay it. She probably did have to mess with the thing to figure out what was happening. Uh, I don't like this. Scared? Of course I am, it's pitch black. Stay close by, don't worry, nothing will happen. And we can't go back. Yeah, if only. We just have to move on. Pretend like the overseer waking up isn't gonna do anything. My god, I almost fell into the abyss. There we go. Next zone. Alright. Let's get out of here. Man, I can't believe that the chip she got from the worm all the way at the beginning is letting her open up all these doors. Destination set, upper sector, starting elevator. It's gonna fall. Or the overseer is gonna stop us. Phew! I've been wondering why you're so afraid of this factory. It's just an odd big factory, isn't it? You're just gonna shoot me down for being scared of ghosts. Mari. There was someone way back that used reverse buoyancy to calculate the amount of electricity this factory used. I mean, sounds interesting, right? As you've said, this factory is odd. But the results were astounding, or astonishing. It was using an abnormal amount of electricity for its size. Big factory consp conspiracy piques your interest, right? This person shared what they found on the dark web. The dark web that hackers, I mean, intelligence acquisition experts not nah, just hackers use all kinds of crackpot theories came and went but eventually a very convincing theory took root this factory must have a hidden facility inside of it one that takes up an absurd amount of electricity hmm lots of people started digging into Mako's central factory to have a crack at this mystery some even succeeded in breaking into Mako group's security mainframe but one day, people started disappearing. Disappearing? Well, unreachable would be a better explanation. The people that were investigating Mago Group started not logging onto the dark web anymore, ever. Especially those who dug deep enough into Mago Group, every single one. Mago Group must have traced them back. You're only saying that because you don't know how things work in my world. The dark web is locked behind extremely complicated algorithms. Retracing it is mathematically impossible. People soon got scared and started staying away from the conspiracy. Yeah, it's... Yeah, yet it still remains a mystery. What could have happened to those people? And what could be hidden in this factory? Yeah! Well, well, what's going on? The overseer. The elevator stopped. Focus, Mari. Identify the issue. 
quickly. Yes, okay. What happened? Access denied. What? I'm pretty sure I have an admin. Yeah, it's the overseer. I knew it. Huh? What's going on? I lost access to my admin account. Ah! We're going back down. It's definitely the overseer. Mr. Delif is descending. Hang on to something. Brace for impact. Took us all the way back to the first floor. Or did we go underground? I don't know. Ah. You alright? Hurt anywhere? I'm fine, thankfully. Hmm. How far did we fall? I'll check outside, you stay inside. Ooh, we're back to the bottom. This is where we got on the elevator. Yeah. We're just back at the start. Where are we? Where we started back where we got on. Mari? Are you really alright? Yeah, yeah, my legs just gave in. Can you walk? Yeah, I'm fine. I can ride Muffin. Muffin, can you give me a hand? Hmm. Nothing's hacked in the muffin. I feel like something's gonna happen to muffin. Ah, uh, I knew things were weren't going were going too easy. Well now. If the overseer denied my authority. Let's head back to the central control room for now. I can try to regain access back there. Anyway, I'll huh? What happened? Oh. oh, the overseer is watching. Uh-oh. Oh, no, that's so creepy. Run! Oh, my God. The overseer is straight up just watching us. Go, 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 go. Man, that thing is so creepy. I didn't even read what she said. Alright, we're back in the control room, I think. Hide here! Look at that. Oh my god, that's so creepy. That's so creepy. That's so scary. A giant AI supercomputer. Man, this is like Terminator type stuff. Oh my goodness. Alright, it didn't notice us. It doesn't have x-ray vision or anything crazy, so it's a good thing, hopefully. That's the overseer? I think it was scary. Mari, are you alright? Hi. I don't think I can do this anymore. I, 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 I've been really brave until now. A steel worm, murder droids, or whatever were bad enough. But I've been a really brave girl. But that... Nope. Oh, I feel bad for her. You can't? No, no more. Mari. What? No matter what you say. Good. He just wants her to leave. Huh? I said good. Listen to me, I'll draw that thing's attention. When I do, I want you to run out of this factory and escape Mago City. But... Don't worry about me. I came here to put things to an end. You're too young to die. Mari, I need you to do this for me. You can let me win just this once, can't you? But I, I need her help, no? What about, what about you? I'll do what I can. Go. But, stop talking, just go. Hmm. 
Okay, that probably leads to a bad ending. <laughs> this is it. I'm all alone. I'm gonna face the Navi by myself. No backup, no help, no friends. He really is just gonna finish the battle and then go to sleep forever. That thing is so creepy. I think I have to hide from it. And the way it's just like scanning the area. What's it doing? The firewall was completely dismantled. It's not even connected to the network. We can't fall directly into its line of sight. Okay. Well then what? I think it's so scary. Nice. Ooh, next zone. I'm gonna have to destroy it. The smell. Lasers. Trying to stop me from leaving. The plasma accelerator. Mari's right. This factory, it's not normal. The healing thing. Oh, it's back. What's up top? Okay, that doesn't do anything. I, I think it's hacking me every time. I mean, it's direct line of sight. That's why my screen goes a little red. What are they even building here? Oh my god, I almost fell. Mm, it's just a bunch of walls. Just like in, in Titanfall 2. This machine is still warm. It must have been working not too long ago. The same goes for this factory. There are traces of people. So there were people in the factory? What is that? Gun? Pigeon. Oh, oh, the pigeon's gonna die. I see. I see. Now I know why there's no one. Those lasers probably disintegrated everybody. Alrighty. I know to be careful now. Get me out. I absolutely hate that that thing is just spying on me. Break that thing. Let me out. Okay. Stay in here for a little bit. We go again. Break that one. Where am I going? This is a mess. Oh my god, that thing is scary. And I go. My god, that thing's so scary. Nice. Where the hell am I now? I'm probably gonna get into the secret facility on accident. Hmm. Oh, wait, SOS? One unit of activated project confirmed. Executing urgent permission transfer pro process in accordance with factory closure. Activating synchronization. It's a worker. Oh, huh? why is it following me? It also has a hook. 
Wait, are they trying to clone me? Failed to sync. There is one worker unit that has been approved for S from SOS. Only one unit of worker can be activated simultaneously. Use the F to transfer control of the worker you're connected to. Oh. Oh, I thought I was a clone. No, I am a clone, I think. My whole life- what if my whole life's been a lie? I can control it? Oh. Wait, no. It said only one worker can be active at a moment. Um... I'm... I'm an android. That's literally what that means. That's insane. The lore of this game goes so deep. Wait, and that's why I couldn't- I can't pass through the fields, because I'm not human. That's insane. In the battle against Sanabi, I died. But Sanabi made clones of me. I wonder if Mari escaped. I hope she did. It's not gonna let me go. I'm trapped. It's gonna hack me. It's gonna absolutely hack me. It's gonna get into my brain. Damn it. <laughs> she didn't escape. She found the car. What the heck? Oh, that. Yo, that car's sick. Oh, she has sunglasses. Nice. Did you miss me? That's beautiful. We're gonna get the hell out of there. What's that noise? Did they crash? They crashed. <laughs> and he's... <laughs> That's funny as hell. Actual driving something, especially how the drift doesn't work she was try drifting what's wrong with you two man poor muffin got knocked the hell out why did you come back huh i finally sent you why i sent you away so why did you come back hey wait wait mister did you really just say that to me right now you would have died without me have you heard of the data medusa even the Overseer has a Medusa processor inside it. The output is supposed to be incredible. If you get hacked, you'll be eliminated from this world forever. It's a national level electronic warfare equipment. And who was the one freaking out over their near-death encounter at the train station? Oh, you don't need to thank, thank me. Sorry. Hmm. She probably thought it over and she was like... I can't run away now. It's just that I've just restrengthened my resolve. What was it you said earlier? A living corpse, right? Well, if I'm already a corpse, what would I have to be afraid of? I've been waiting my whole life for this moment. I can't stop because of a stupid machine's giant eye. Right, Muffin? <laughs> right, Muffin? Why do you shake his head? See, even Muffin agrees with me. <laughs> Muffin's crying. You seriously never listen to you. Oh, you're one to talk. Anyway, you still have to keep your promise. Promise? Oh my word, how do you pretend like you don't know what you said just a moment ago? You said you'd take me to the top floor no matter what. Mari, that's... No, no, no. No take backsies. Grown-ups who don't keep their promises are bad adults. Now enough with the doom and gloom talk and take a look at the stuff I brought. She really did just destroy it. The easiest way for us to go up. Is that a bunch of guns? 
My goodness. Ta-da! And she has a switch. <laughs> a limited edition switch. Are you going to war or something? Maybe I can equip one in my arm. Wow, where did you get all this stuff? They make all sorts of things in this factory. It looked like they had a bunch of old inventory, so I took the liberty. There were no bullets? <laughs> she just realized. It doesn't matter. I can't use a gun with my arm like this. Wait, what's this? A limited edition game box OLED model. That's not a game box. That is a switch. Still unopened. <laughs> How is that supposed to help me? Don't judge me. So what if I brought this instead of bullets? There were bullets. She just forgot. I didn't say anything. Oh, but I did bring bullets for this. Romance. Romance in one hand. Oh. Please don't aim at people. Hmm. There are obviously no bullets in it. Don't even think about shooting the gun. Why? I'm super good at shooting. In games. <laughs> He got it with that one. You always tell me not to do it when I try to do cool stuff. Mari. Um, um. Thanks. Aww. He's breaking out of the cocoon that he put himself in after his daughter died. Quote unquote. Because I am under the conspiracy theory. She's not real. She was never real. He <laughs> he. Don't mention it. We're partners, right? No thank you needed between partners. I shouldn't have said anything. Oh, I also brought you a gift. A harmonica. I paid money for this. Didn't I say I don't know how to play? Try it. Who knows? Maybe you'll awaken some hidden talent. Are you expecting something from me? Wait, I understand now. What if Mari's father is the main character, right, right, right? And Mari's father was chasing down Sanabi or Mago group, right, right, right? And then Mari's father goes missing. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And that's because Mago group or Sanabi or whatever defeated him. And let's say they start datafying him as the first subject and make copies of him. And that is why he exists. Right? Right, right, right. And that is why he only gets flashback of his flashbacks of his daughter. But what if his daughter is actually Mari? What if he's her dad that went missing and got turned into an android? And what if she's his daughter that he thinks is dead? Hmm? That would be crazy. It's just, I remember when my dad used to play for me. I thought maybe my mind will feel more at peace if I hear it again. Watch, he's gonna play it and he's gonna know immediately how to do it. Oh no, he messed up. Gah! Do you feel better? I feel confused. Hmm. But I think he is her dad. Oh, a new plan. The power supply is unreliable at this factory because of a problem with the city's nuclear power plant. Mister, you have to focus while we're discussing the strategy. In other words, this factory currently has no electricity. Then how is the overseer working like everything is perfectly fine? That power gobbling monster, on what energy is it running? The answer is the backup core. This factory has an ultra high capacity backup core in case of a blackout. A single core is powerful enough to power an entire city for several days. I saw it when I tore open the factory power system. It was just as I expected. As soon as the overseer was activated, the backup core was also activated at the same time. I'm 100% sure the overseer is getting its power from the backup core. Then what if we get into the core room and stop that core? 
When the Overseer loses its power supply, we can casually stroll out of this factory safe and sound. Then it's mission accomplished. What do you think, simple enough? But what if the Overseer keeps running even after we stop the core? Don't you think the Overseer could have its own power supply inside of it? That's impossible! An excessively powerful machine like the Overseer can't operate without an external power source. Or are you still doubting my expertise? It's gonna have a power source inside. Mari. Was there ever a time when things went according to one of your plans? Well, that's because... Because Sanabi and... All the other stuff keeps messing it up. Forget it, Mari. Will you be okay? If Data Medusa... Uh, what? Is what's actually inside the Overseer, you won't be safe either. Mister, who am I? I'm the greatest information expert in Joseon. I'm Mari. Of course I installed the protector. You installed the protector? Mari, when did you find the time to do that? The protector isn't something that's cheap. Well... I guess that's the benefit of working in this field. Huh. Whatever, I don't wish to ask any more details. Anyway, the Overseer is still much bigger than I am, so it'll be dangerous if I'm exposed for too long. Same goes for you. Oh, that's what Muffin looks like. You can go one more time, right Muffin? Uh-oh. He ran away. Hey Muffin, I'm joking. We'll take the car. It'll be a short drive. And it doesn't work anymore. Huh? Huh? I'm suddenly curious. How did they get around the factory without a car? I don't think the overseer would have just ignored them. That's the magic of this factory. It's... What? Oh, the secret passageway. Vents. It's actually just yeah, I knew it. <laughs> it's barely big enough for Muffin and me. You found the path through here. Are you a mole or something? It's all thanks to my incredible spatial awareness. This vent is connected to the core room. Of course, it's connected to all around the factory. That's one less thing to worry about. You can go through here. What about you? It's too small for me. I'll take the path on top. Mm. Don't you think that's dangerous? Don't do that. Why don't we just fix... I think riding your car feels more dangerous. Hmm. I was going to be super careful this time. Let's head out and be careful. Mister... If you're ever in danger, I'm going to protect you. Stop goofing around and just take care of yourself. Hehe. <laughs> now let's get out of this annoying factory for good. Every time I sit down to record, I don't think the recording is going to be that long. Oh, but this game, it's just so good. And it has so much story. And it just keeps sucking me back in. And every episode, I get crazier and crazier with more and more conspiracy theories on what the heck the ending is going to be. But, um, that'll be it for this one. Yeah, I'll see you on the next one. If you liked it, give it a like. If you want to see more stuff, subscribe. Bye-bye.